This is Brent Gardner with the Dragon Boat Channel, and today we have a special guest. We're doing it in the spotlight here at DBTV. We have Christopher Mancini with MSH Martial Arts. Chris, thanks for being here today. Thank you so much, Ray. Now, you've been dragon boat racing here in Tampa for two years now. Uh, who are you paddling with? Uh, I'm, I'm paddling currently with the uh, Tampa Police Department Water Warriors. Now, for the first two years you were involved, TPD, they pulled out back-to-back -back wins. Uh, we talked to you and some of your crew before the dra dra dragon boat races in Tampa this year, and you guys were very confident, but uh, Tico pulled it out. What happened? Uh, first off, uh, my hat's off to Tico. Unbelievable team. They train hard. They deserve the championship. Uh, basically, we did not train hard enough. We, we, uh, there's no excuse for it. Uh, we have the athletes. We have the... Uh, the, the uh, the muscle, muscle <laughs> for, for it, but we, we just want to call us on a bad day. But we'll be back. Absolutely. And Tico was training their butts off. We saw them. They were, they were going at it. We saw them start off in Tiberi's. They did phenomenal there. The Blade Runners pulled it out in Tiberi's, then to Tampa. Tico took the championship there. Then we followed him down to Miami. And Due to a technicality with the timing, they were able to win that. There was a little thing going on with that, but they still were the winners. Now, you having a martial arts background and being in Taekwondo, what do you think that gives you the edge and your training and how you prepare for a drag boat race? I believe, personally, the mindset of, of the, uh, the athlete. Uh, uh, police officers have it. Uh, athletes have it. But uh, Dragon Boat is, is a unique uh, event where it's a team sport, but I still believe that, that each individual athlete has to have that mindset. And uh, what that mindset is, you know, never surrender, never die, whatever, whatever the saying is, that, that's the mindset that you have. Uh, we have it, I know we have it, and uh, we'll be back. Well, I've heard you say in the past that when you train in martial arts with your students, you tend to start off by bulletproofing their mind. So you feel that going into next season, if you can also give it to your teammates and, and help them bulletproof the mind, that the muscle and the brawn that they have, they can pretty much go through anything and you're going to pull it out. Absolutely. Bulletproof mind, you cannot be defeated. Well, there you have it. We want to thank Chris and Mansahing Martial Arts for inviting us here to their facility today. This is Brent Gardner with the Dragon Boat Channel. See you next time.